Welcome to episode 17 of The Min Effect. I am your host, Matt Witt, and this is a podcast where we talk about sports and games, and today we have a very special episode. Stefan Diggs is now a Buffalo Bill, and we realized he's worth more than DeAndre Hopkins. You don't want to miss it. As of yesterday, we were told the Buffalo Bills were able to trade for Stefan Diggs. Now, this is a trade I was not going to be able to see coming. I made a whole episode talking about Diggs is going nowhere. No one's going to be able to trade for him because I did not think a team was going to give up this much for Diggs. Now, these it's the Buffalo Bills will never know that they lost this deal because when you feed Diggs the ball, it's going to be great for the team. Now we saw this happen in the Eagles game. Diggs was fed the ball three touchdowns, tons of yards, ran the ball like four times and he it was amazing. We won the game because of Diggs. Now Bills are gonna feed him the ball and they're going to win games. I think they are ready they are ready to win their division. I mean, now we were we're told Tom Brady is leaving Patriots for sure and he will probably go to a team like the Buccaneers. I don't want to see that coming, but hey, we'll see that. So Patriots are not going to be able to take their division anymore. Dolphins are doing nothing. Jets, we don't know what's happening with the Jets. I think they have the most underrated defense in the entire league, but their offense sucks, so you can't really, they don't get the attention. So the Bills are ready to run this division. I mean, the AFC East is trash now, um, and I think the Bills are going to are ready to win their division because now they have an offensive playmaker that they can really feed the ball and rely on. Now, before this, they were feeding David Singletary the ball a ton, giving him the ball all the time, and it was amazing. Singletary is a great running back, but aside from that, all their other playmakers are all old. I mean, Cole Beasley getting old. He Cole Beasley looked great. I think he is an amazing two receiver. I would not take him, use him as a starting receiver, which they are not going to anymore. Now that Diggs is there, he's going to be their one. One receiver, Cole Bisley will be there too. I think that's great. And then you have John Brown as your three. So their receiving core is amazing now with that. Diggs was like the finishing piece. They needed a clear one receiver, which I thought that they were going to take in the first round. I thought that they were going to be trade up maybe even for Jerry Judy and CeeDee Lamb. That's how much they needed a receiver. Now, if they traded up for Jerry Judy or CeeDee Lamb, they would not have gave up as much as they had to get for Stefan Diggs. Now, Stefan Diggs is, they wouldn't be able to get a receiver like Stefan Diggs at 22, but they would be able to have Jerry Judy and CeeDee Lamb for longer. And Jerry Judy and CeeDee Lamb are ready to be one receivers and could be the greatest in the entire league. Now, what makes Diggs so great? What is How is he going to fit into this Buffalo Bills team? Diggs is probably the best route runner in the entire league. His footwork is amazing. I think he's the best route runner. He may be the best wide receiver after the catch as well. Those That's what makes Stefan Diggs so great. Now, he's a great deep threat because of those two reasons he can track down balls that's another thing he can track down balls great catch balls at full stride if if the receiver can hit him the quarterback can hit him like that which josh allen i think is able to josh allen i think is the most underrated quarterback in the entire league Uh, josh allen may be the second best quarterback out of that draft class behind lamar jackson who just got mvp and lamar jackson is clearly the best but josh allen kind of went under the radar in that draft because it's a draft where we saw josh rosen (laughs) of course that's the first one i named josh rosen he's just the first one i think of when i think of that draft class because the cardinals took him at 10th and now he doesn't even start and this was just like two years ago and then you have sam darnold who we don't know about sam darnold baker mayfield you don't know what's happening with him and then lamar jackson He's great. And then Josh Allen. And Josh Allen's just under the radar in that draft class. No one ever thinks of him. And I think he's the most underrated quarterback in the entire league. I think he's ready to... He's a great starter. I don't think he's top five. He's definitely not top five. He's probably not top 10 even. But he's definitely good enough to be a starter. 17 games now. It's, we're going to 17 game seasons. It's weird to say that. Uh, but yeah, Diggs is going to get fed the ball a ton. They're going to feed Diggs, give the ball to Singletary. And Diggs will probably complain every down. They don't give him the ball. But... It's go- the dig, but the Bills will never know that they lost this deal. But did they really? I mean, they're gonna win their they're gonna win their division, so they're gonna get what they want out of it. But the Vikings are gonna get more out of it. That's what I'm trying to say. So with this first round pick, the Vikings now have the 22nd overall pick and the 25th overall pick, and this is amazing for the Vikings. This is probably the best part of this entire deal because the uh, the draft class for corners is so great the draft class for wide receivers is probably the best it's ever been and then offensive tackles okay and then uh defensive tackles kind of how it usually is with defensive tackles too so that's what the vikings need and they could hit on both the 22nd and 25th pick and fill two roles second string wide receiver that's going to be easy. I mean, you can take that with the 25th pick. I think they should. And I think they should use the 22nd pick on Javon Kinlaw if he's available or Josh Jones if he's available. And if or CJ Henderson if he's available or Christian Fulton. Now, if those players are not available, those four players will probably not be available. We don't know how it's going to go yet. So then take a, the best wide receiver available, which we could see. Henry Ruggs, I think he 
probably the third best. T. Higgins, probably the fourth best wide receiver in this draft. Um, LaVisca Chenault, well, he's probably like sixth best. And then Justin Jefferson, uh, Denzel Mims. Those are just some of the wide receivers we could see that the Vikings will take in the first round. I'm confident the Vikings are now going to take a wide receiver in the first round because we any of those wide receivers are clear number twos out of college. They're clearly behind Adam Thielen and can be a great number two receiver and we need a number two receiver bc is not it i think bc is a great receiver inside the slot and that's about it i think he should be a fourth string receiver i think the vikings should use two of these picks actually on wide receivers taking a wide receiver in the first round and fifth round because of how great the wide receiver class is you're going to be take a wide receiver in the fifth round and he's going to be a great three so that's what I think they should do. And one of those receivers, any of those names I just mentioned, one of those are going to be Minnesota Vikings. I'm telling you, one of those are going to be. Now, with this 25th pick, we're going to see how the Vikings use the 22nd pick. And with this 25th pick, they will either take a defensive tackle or trade back. I think it's very possible the Vikings trade back because we need help on both the defensive and offensive line. When you need help on the defensive and offensive line, you want those second, third, fourth, fourth round picks unless if it's like edge rushers and offensive tackles so on the sides is different then you want to use your first round picks on it but on interior offense and interior defensive line those like second third fourth round picks are great for us so with these fifth round pick and sixth round pick i don't know how they're going to use the fifth and sixth round pick but all i can tell you is rick spielman is the best with these picks i mean he hits on like 80 percent of these sixth round picks and that's not very common for a player to get drafted in the sixth round and even start a game in the NFL or even make the active roster. Most of them don't even make the active roster. And Rick Spielman is great with these picks. We had a ton. We get, I think, yeah, we gave him a seventh round pick too. Who cares? We have like 20 seventh round picks. Vikings are picking in the entire seventh round. That's how great Rick Spielman, Rick Spielman could trade out of the first round and get like a ton of sixth round picks because of how much he loves these late round picks and getting these no name guys and turning them into superstars, even undrafted players. He grabs a lot of undrafted players. So that's what it means for the Vikings that one of those players will come to the Vikings. I don't think they're going to take a wide receiver in free agency or trade for one. We could see Cordell Patterson come though. We could see Cordell Patterson come, but he's not a two receiver. He's a, I think Cordell Patterson is great three. He's a great punt returner and that's what we need. So we could see Cordell Patterson come, but even if he comes, I do think the Vikings will take a number two receiver in the first round. So with that being said, the Vikings are basically rob the bills because we're we're stepping down from Diggs to a receiver that most likely will not ever be as great as Diggs, but will prob will will be a good two. I mean, as long as they don't get like injuries or actually be total flops, which I don't think uh, you you can never predict it though. One of they it, we could really lose this deal. I mean, look at the Herschel Walker trade. We don't want to bring that up again. That was before I even existed though. Um, but yeah, so stepping down from a Diggs, who was our two receiver. I mean, Diggs was behind Adam Thielen just about all of his career, uh, who was our two receivers, should be a, have been our first because of how great of a route runner he is. Now Diggs lacks on a few aspects. So Bills fans, Diggs does not lacks on a few aspects, but fits perfectly with your team. Diggs does not have a very great catch radius. Um, but aside from that, he, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can use him about everything else. I mean, you can use him as a running back. Who cares? Use him as a quarterback. Okay, actually, we did see him use a, throw a couple of passes, and that did not go very good. But anyway, so Diggs does fit great with this Bills team, and he's going to get what he wants, and what he wants is money and the ball. Money and the ball. Just about what every other wide receiver wanted. So every wide receiver that comes to the Vikings doesn't get that. We have too many playmakers to give him the ball every down. I mean, we're going to see... Our, our, anyone who's saying that our receiving core is now worse well it is worse but is now suffering is wrong i mean kyle rudolph is kyle rudolph catches everything he probably is the coronavirus because he catches everything uh Eric smith great after the catch adam thielen amazing catch radius great route runner one of the top route runners in the league not as good as Diggs, if you ask me but so that's what we're getting out of it. That's what the Vikings are getting out of it. What the Bills are getting out of it is probably a championship. Now, not not they probably won't make the Super Bowl. Well, they could um, with Josh Allen, Singletary, and Diggs as their like tri their trio, and then now you have. Cole Beasley as their two, John Brown as their three. That's a great offense right there. And the Bills have an amazing secondary, uh, great defense all around. So the Bills are running their division. The Bills are going to get division titles out of Diggs. And that's why I think 
I rarely say this, but this might be a win-win scenario. Uh, this might be a win-win trade because I think the I know the Vikings are going to get a lot out of this with these picks. Now, okay, I don't know that because it could not happen, but I know the Bills are going to get a lot get what they want out of it, and what the Vic- what the Bills want out of it is to run their division because you see the Patriots now on the collapse. You see. And Jets, you don't know what's happening with the Jets. Dolphins have another few years till they finally start winning, till they finally start getting a winning record. And then now the Bills are going to probably get first round buys. And can, I think they, I think we could see a Bills Chiefs championship, AFC championship this next year because of their offense now. And this offense is going to get this defense rolling. And that's the Bills are ready. The Bills are ready to roll now. We saw this DeAndre Hopkins trade, and the Bills could have got DeAndre Hopkins. However, I think Diggs fits better with his team than DeAndre Hopkins does. And I think DeAndre Hopkins is a better receiver, but Bills, I feel like Diggs just fits great with this offense because you can give the ball to a lot of players, even though you're going to be feeding Diggs the ball. So if Diggs get double teamed, well, you're probably going to win the game because Cole Beasley is, and John Brown are great two and three receivers, and then Singletary is great. And then who knows what's going to happen with Frank Gore. Frank Gore is so old they'll give him the ball like in garbage time on the games because he's so old so that's what we see we see a new player going into this i did not think this was going to happen i like i said i thought the bills were going to trade up for amazing wide receiver probably jerry judy or cd lamb because they can because a lot of teams are going to be waiting till the second round so they could probably trade up at like 15 and get jerry judy or cd lamb or 13 or whatever and that's what i thought was going to happen but Obviously, that's not what happened, and the Bills were had their eyes set on Diggs and went all in for Diggs, which they had to do because I know Rick Spielman, and Rick Spielman would only get rid of Diggs if he saw a trade that was worth it, that made his jaw drop. Now, let me know what you all think about the trade. I love the trade. I think it's going to be great for both sides, actually, and this is, I barely say that for trades. Usually, trades, one side clearly won, the other did not, and this is a trade we're going to be looking back on in five years. Diggs is going to make... Diggs could make Madden cover. He will probably make Madden cover. I'm serious. Diggs is probably going to make Madden cover. He's probably going to make a ton of Pro Bowls. So the Bills will think they got the up hand on this deal. And then we're going to look at the players we got and we're like, oh, it was a win-win. That's that's what I think is going to happen. Anyways, let me know what y'all think. Who you think won the trade? I think it was a win-win. Although I think the Vikings did rob the Bills of a lot of these picks. But really, the Bills are never going to know that because Diggs is going to do amazing with them. So let me know what you all think. And as always, till next time.